So we've arrived at Fifield Down. This is where I'm going to be spending the next few hours wandering around here. Incidentally, my path, the path to come down is just beyond this gate here. You walk down there and you see the path winding up into the distance, get me out of the way, winding up into the distance all the way up the hill, all the way up the hill there. And this bank of trees at the top there, that is actually an underground reservoir. And when I get to there, I will be turning left. And uh, there's a nice, nice wood, wood in there with an abandoned farm which I shall be taking pictures of. So this is this is where I am at the moment. Just come off the track a bit to this uh, these uh, group of tr three trees here with a nice group of sarsen stones. Now my uh, first composition, I am actually going to concentrate on these two trees here, this tree there and that tree there, and uh, with this big sarsen stone and the other one behind it because it's actually two, makes it look when you're actually here as though it's one big stone in the curve so when you look into the back of the screen there I don't know if you can see that is that going to focus on that you might not be able to see that but anyway you'll see the picture uh, when it's uh, when I've done with it so I'm I'm focusing on that tree there I'm at f11 I'm in manual manual uh, for this I've got the ISO set to uh, 100 it's given me f11 I'm doing it on f11 and 180th of a second which that should give me a good from front to back everything in focus now, I was debating on whether to put a filter on the top but the light the light isn't that harsh at the moment and it's actually putting a nice dappled light on these uh, these trees here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you this shot and uh, you'll see this in a minute Uh, actually got a, a breeding pair of red kites right above my head uh, just cracked off a ton of photographs it is floating right above my head unbelievable absolutely unbelievable when you see them that close up with this lens I tell you it just takes your breath away it really does so you phone over there I've got another one just up there and there's, lo there's loads of them in the field you won't be able to we won't be able to see them but there's just one two three four five six i can see in that field over there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to um make my way closer to that field over there and go to that opposite fence line and um see if i can get the shots over there so i'm doing is i'm just <clears throat> doing is I'm just steady looking at that uh, woodland over there. It's actually closer than what this camera is making it out to be. But out over there you've got a pair of red kites and you've also got a buzzard there as well. I didn't think what they got on but don't seem to be bothering each other. I can still pick them up on the lens. I've still got them. It's a little bit too far off to make any just a little bit too far off at the moment. Anyway, patience is a virtue. So I've come into a conservation area now, um, still up on Fifield Down, it's a huge place. Um, so I'm in a cons conservation area, it's in amongst this uh, modest small woodland, it didn't used to be a woodland, as uh, nature has just taken over because there was a farm in here, in fact the building, derelict building is just there over my left shoulder. 
and over my right shoulder here is the uh, dew pond where they used to uh, water all the animals with. And um, it's a very interesting place. I was going to think about uh, a composition to do here, but it's, uh, I wanted to get here before everything starts growing over. And um, I'm going to have a wander around this dew pond and see what I can come up with. All right, let's get cracking. So I've got the old uh, camera set up and I've got my um, polarizer on there and I've got it on 11 mil. I've had to um, zoom out to 11 mil because uh, on a extreme wide angle lenses you do get um, you, you do get to see the holder. So I've zoomed into 11 mil and that's uh, put that out of the way. The uh, Polarizer is all set and it's given me some nice colours and really pop them greens and the colours in the trees absolutely superb and it's um, got rid of the glare off the water so uh, I've got uh, what we've got ISO 100 f10 and one fiftieth of a second so I'm just gonna put it on a two second timer so I press the button now. Right, so we've cleared the woodlands. I've uh, come traced my steps back, and uh, it's nice to walk on a different path that I've never taken before. So I'm always sticking to the same paths when I come up here, obviously when I go for a walk. So it's nice to uh, come off the beaten track. I'm going to slowly make my way back to my car because time's getting on, and um, if anything of interest happens along the way. Stop and let you know. So I was uh, making slowly making my way back to the car and uh, noticed this lonely tree. And you know how much us photographers like a lonely tree. And the composition I've got is probably what you're seeing through the, uh, through the little M50 here. Um, so what I've got is got this stone down here, it's foreground interest just there. And then uh, this bank of trees and that bank of trees are on the top third intersections and the tree is in the middle with the sarsen stones. Not got any um, filters on, just taking it as is because I do like the shapes in the clouds that are up there at the moment. And uh, it's looking all rather nice at the back of the screen. Got a really nice looking histogram for that focus. Here we go, really nice looking histogram and everything is looking dandy. So I'm going to take that shot, two second timer, and then we'll see how it comes out. Well that's it for today now. I've been out most of the day, been out since um, 8 o'clock this morning, and it's now 3 o'clock. So I'm going to make this photograph of this tree my last thing of the day, and just concentrate on getting back to the car. It's about three and a half miles from here. So with that, I will say thank you for joining me. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. And uh, I will see you on the next video, whenever that may be. And I'll see you then, guys, okay? Cheers. Bye.